All right, what a gift it is to have this character on the show on my birthday. Uh, Kip Smith is a bland friend. If you don't know him from our show, your kids probably know him from school. That kind of outreach, something they've done for years at Wildlife Encounters. Yeah, he's shown it to both my son and my daughter's daycare. Mm -hmm. uh, now, kicking things up a notch online, I can see. Yeah, you good, are. Good to see you, buddy. Yes, Hi, good Kip. Good morning. Yeah, has, you, you've been all over the place, right? You've been traveling all over, bringing us a little closer to the nature world, yeah. I guess you could say, right? Yeah, we just went to uh, uh, Puerto Rico, the University of Nebraska, uh, with their SNR program, School of Natural Resources, mm -hmm. and we studied some uh, iguanas out there. Before you move on from this story, oh, we yeah. have a clip from this. Sure, this is. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> you, found, you found one that had already expired, well, by the way. You didn't yes. do that. Too. No, we didn't know. We didn't kill the iguana. We thought he was alive when that dug a hole. Uh -huh. uh, Dr. Dennis Ferraro, who's no, a herpetologist for the while. state of Nebraska yeah. at the university, he was digging it, and then we found out it, was, uh, it had died like a week before. Uh -huh. And it was smelly. There were bugs all yeah. over it. It was oh, nasty. Right. So, what did you do? Just leave it there? Yeah, we just left it there. I figured a predator would be. Did you find something it. else other uh, than a dead iguana? We found some uh, Cuban rock iguanas, uh -huh. which we're studying. Uh, they're a vulnerable species, so they're dying off, uh, and they're doing a lot of research with them out in Puerto Rico. So, really important research going on. Okay. Yeah. Well, yep. what, have, what have they learned? Have they learned much yet, or are they still um, going to the, the research process? They're still kind of in the research process, but there's a small group that was put out there years yeah. ago, and now they're breeding, so they're br building up their population oh, numbers. Wow. Okay. So. Where else are you going through this series? Uh, we were, went to uh, Quintana Roo, and we actually just got done working with spider monkeys uh -huh. out there. Uh, so, we're kind of showing how the spider monkeys live wow. within people is at an eco resort. Mm -hmm. So they're wild monkeys, but they're still kind of cohabitating. Are with they fairly humans. tame? Are they? Yeah, they're pretty good. They'll come down. Uh, I, I can. I've some clips. I was feeding them. I stood there all week and I kind of made friends with one of them. Uh -huh. And he actually let me groom him at the last day I was there. <laughs> so I sat for about 20 minutes and I just petted him and groomed him. So, but yeah, our viewers great. can see these videos online. You yeah. have them all yep. posted on your website? Not all. We only have the iguana one right now, okay. but mm -hmm. we'll be posting some here soon. Okay, they have that. their own YouTube channel, yeah. all that. Uh, everything <laughs> for this guy, by the way, is wildlifeencounters.org. Okay, what'd you bring? Today. You got uh, we got an animal that wanted to well, say happy birthday to you. This is happy Megatron. Birthday. Oh, Megatron, he's got a big birthday hat on. That's awesome. I can't even handle it. Stop right there. He's got a party hat. Oh, so he did. There's a woman who makes these party hats online for bearded dragons. He looks so, so happy, too. He ordered some. He's like, get this dang hat off my head, Kip. Oh, my God. He's, he's staring at me you like can it's hold my him. fault. I didn't yeah. have anything to do Here, with it. stay right there. He's like a cool boy. He'll do a good picture with you. Okay. Is he perfect? Oh, isn't this fabulous? He'll, he'll just sit there it's and like hang out with you. Is that <laughs> does he uh, Has he already <laughs> gone to the restroom? Uh, <laughs> we never know with these guys. So <laughs> it could happen Thanks, at Kip. any time. <laughs> if he goes potty on my head, Kip. <laughs> Yeah, that yeah, would be that fabulous. <laughs> That's funny. No, I love the hat. Right? Lady who makes them. Even. Yeah, she I'd makes like to bearded dragon hats. So what is it? What's the deal stuff? with these bearded dragons? I mean, they can they make good pets. Though. These guys, yeah, they can make awesome pets. There's a lot of kids that we meet at schools that have bearded dragons as pets. Uh -huh. uh, they're really docile animals, really calm, pretty, generally pretty easy to take uh -huh. care yeah. of once you know they're they're pretty pretty laid back. It looks like um, sharp spikes along his ribs and under his chin, but they're kind of soft. Yeah, they're not. You can, yeah, you can pet him. You can hold him. But his claws. He's got claws there too. He's got claws. They're not going to hurt you though. These guys, they're pretty much not. They can't hurt us humans in any way, shape, or form. Are all bearded dragons yellow like this? There's a few different colors that you see. Primarily, you're going to see the yellowish, orangish color, light gray, things like that. Okay. Were they crickets and yeah, grasshoppers? Yeah, crickets, uh, they're omnivores. So they eat other insects, but they also eat fruits and vegetables uh -huh. as well. And okay. he's got a nice tail. Yep. Hey, dude. Very nice okay. tail. Okay, so, <laughs> so right, we'll put this guy back. There's that guy. We'll put your uh, birthday animal back. A couple of other animals to bring in. We do. We've got we'll these uh, little guys. This is Kip Sr. Now Watch the, your step, Kip. You've got some things there to. Oh, well. Oh, you, you can hold one. Well, you don't want to hold it. Yeah. I don't well, is know. he gonna? And just put your thumb up there so he doesn't so get bite you. Me? Anything yeah. that comes with instructions okay, is probably. Because <laughs> these things have some sharp teeth. I, they I do have sharp teeth. We can show you his teeth. How big will these get? Uh, if it's a male, you know, 15 feet, a thousand uh -huh. pounds, so they get pretty big. So how old are these well, then? Because these are tiny. These, these guys are, are little guys. They're under about. They're probably around right under a year, maybe mm -hmm. a little under a year. Can you show us his teeth again? Oh yeah. Now we're looking at yours. Yeah. But those are just, they're just tiny itty bitty teeth because yeah. he's still young. Yep, he's still young. They'll get uh -huh. big, they'll grow pretty big. So you just uh, tap on the little bill there? And yeah, you can try mouth. it. How if do you tap you... on his mouth, just don't let him bite you. Well, I don't want that to happen. How do you, let's, well, then maybe we should just. <laughs> okay, pass. let's just not do it because so he's getting how, how, do you come in, how do you come in contact with animals like these since they aren't indigenous to our area? The bearded dragon is a perfect example of like a, what could make a good pet. These guys aren't. Uh, people buy them online, they're really cheap, so people get them and then they yeah. get you know, three, four feet. They have no idea what to do mm -hmm. with them and they call us to come pick them up. Uh -huh. and a number of years ago, they, I found one in Carter Lake because somebody yep. let go of it yep. and they let it go in the lake and it grew and it got big and. Then it was a 
had a sad ending. Well, the thing, and the thing too is the ecosystem, Kip. We've talked about before. It's when you're bringing these animals in or you're releasing them into the wild where they don't belong. Yes. It has a, like a sort of a ripple effect of what it what happens to it the does. rest of that environment. Yeah, you can have invasive species mm -hmm. come in and they can kind of really mess up the environment. Mm -hmm. uh, so do not get these. Here in Nebraska, yeah. yeah, these guys aren't going to become invasive. Because it gets too cold, they would die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, they can't survive winters like this. Uh, what happens if people release them in other parts, even Florida? They have a yeah, pet. They right. release it. Yeah, sure. it. It's used to humans. It's not scared. It loses that natural fear. In the wild, typically these guys are scared of people. Mm -hmm. uh, but ones like these, no, they get 15 feet. They get huge. They get uh, well, and, they're, and they just found, we just got another what are you one. Bring, I see your someone. I see Kip Senior preparing on the edge. Here. <laughs> and this is the, and they're cold though. I can feel. Else. Yeah, they're they're, cold they're, blood, but they're cold blooded. They're so cold. If it's 75 degrees in here, he's about 75 degrees. Are we doing this? Is this happening? Oh, somebody get the stop thing. <laughs> Stacy's like, guys, Stacey I don't know. No. Let, we'll just, we'll leave him over there, Kip. We just want to hold him. What? So Kip, Kip Jr., what is the story with this one? Oh, uh, this is an alligator. This is, you can, you just, know, this you can guy's, just hang out right no, here. No, no, Kip, bring him over here. You can come over here. This okay. guy's, this guy's still young. Uh, he's now, probably what's wrong with his lip there? Has he got blood he's on got there? got an abrasion of oh, some he sort. He was moving around and sometimes they hit them, hit things on there. So just well, kind I of just didn't know if he just had lunch. No, <laughs> it could be it could be some meat that he ate as well. <laughs> oh, this guy he's still he's still young. He's gonna be a lot bigger than this. You know, this is a little guy. Now this guy can do some damage to you. Well, so if one this size bit you, you know, he'd bite your fingers off. For yeah, sure, that's why I'm keeping my distance. Well, they have this wiggle so. thing where they roll and they wiggle. How powerful? How powerful is that? Do you have a good grasp of them right now? It's crazy powerful. They're really powerful. That's what how they would pull your fingers off. So he'd bite your hand and he would death roll. Just tear. But look how, but right why are you so yeah. calm around this? You're waving your hands right in front of his beak. And uh, there's only certain areas he can get you. So like right here, he can't get me. Over here, he can't get me. Yeah, so don't yeah, you're tease fine. him. You, you don't have to mock I feel him. Like, I feel like right now you're doing <laughs> this. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they, they know, they, they, can, they can tell what's going to happen. Oh, hold on, uh -huh. what did you say? Well, I'm going to give an example. Sure, if you want to. No. Yeah, let's do an example. We can't hear him because he's not mic'd up. So I don't want you to say anything good and then we miss it. What we can do, do you want to try to touch the front of his mouth? No, I don't need to, but I mean, do you want to do it? Go ahead. You can. It's oh. your birthday. You got to do this. I feel like I'm being set up. Am I being set up here? Mary, take this little guy. I don't have any answers. No, you got to put well, your I don't, put your I don't mouth know how right to hold him. No. Yeah, you want to take that guy? guy? What is happening right now? <laughs> if you want to. Stacy will take Are you guys setting me up? Okay, Stacey. what do you want me to do? You just touch the front of his mouth. Are just you like serious? That. Just straight on. Are you kidding me? Okay, that's good, Kip. I will, Kip. Okay, <laughs> I'll do this on my own time. Wait, are you, you, you right-handed or left-handed? I'm right-handed. Let's see left, just in case. What are you talking about? Oh, just in case. If you guys <laughs> scare me, <laughs> don't right mess with me. <laughs> do I gotta do it fast? No. Oh slow. no. Slow? Yeah. Just straight on, never okay. on the side. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. Kip, <laughs> this guy. You are no, gonna. Now, now, now he opened his mouth. I'm not touching him. Look, okay. He just opened his mouth. Look at let's, let's, bring, let's bring this yeah. home because we've got like two minutes left. And okay. I see. Yeah, let's grab our next guy. Yeah. Oh, you're safe. Yeah, this guy. You can see his mouth open up. Hey, bud. Really nice. his mouth. Really so nice to meet you. But if anything touches the inside, yeah, then that's when they. Because they'll come like this. Wow. If he even touches it, he'll he'll I close his that. mouth. He shuts. Woo, well my Ooh. heart stopped there. Let's get it started again. Kip, <laughs> right, thank we'll you so much. Next. And Stacy's coming back with one more. A set of animals here, Kip. <laughs> They lost their harnesses. Oh boy! Do right. wow. uh, you guys want a banana? Yeah. You them? Yes. 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 Oh my goodness, Kip! Thank these you. are kinkajous. These are kinkajous. Uh, where's are she at? Are they related or they're just? They're not related. They're just friends. Yep. How do I hold you guys? Hey baby. Uh, you really don't hold them. They hold they you. Yeah. They just come to you. So yeah, they just come to you. They just hang out. This is this is Cricket. This is Oliver. Hey, hey that's fine. <laughs> you want me to get Oliver here? Yeah, if you want to. Come here, Oliver. Come, hey, here. come here, buddy. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Look how precious they are, Kip. What's the most fascinating thing about these creatures? I think their tail. They have a prehensile tail, so they can grab with their tail, so they can hang uh -huh. upside down from trees. Um, Cricket has devoured this. Do you have yeah. any more? Oh, uh, I think yeah. You here we go. I, mean, I feel like I'm about to lose a fingertip here. No, <laughs> you'll be fine. Hey, Cricket, Chill. do you want you want some more, baby? I mean, they go. To, they, have you fed these things recently? They <laughs> plow through food. I mean, he is. Uh, they're related to raccoons. Down. So these I, guys, oh. just like most of the animals, they just love food. That's yeah. all they care about. They just want to eat That's and it, eat huh? and eat. And they can stand. They can kind of be stand up a little bit on their hind legs, but uh -huh. typically they're going to be <laughs> moving around on trees. So these guys typically don't come down the rainforest floor. They're moving in through trees looking for fruit just like this. They love anything sweet. I mean, look how he's devouring this banana right here. He goes, oh, yeah. Aww. So, Kip, these animals, um, because their eyes are like big and dewy and beautiful, people probably want these <laughs> as pets too. Yeah. 
but don't do it. Right. These guys don't. These guys don't make good pets. They, you know, they're nice and sweet looking here. As they get older, they get territorial. In many parts, they're illegal to have these, so that's not a good idea either. There's tons of good pets out there. You just kind of have to look at each animal. Needs a lot to each animal. And what's good for the animal? Not just sort of what you want, but what's important for the animal. And the nocturnal. So look online. Wildlifeencounters.org. Org. Thanks, Thank you, Kip, and congratulations yeah. on everything online. Oh, yeah. Thank oh, you yeah. so much. Happy birthday. Yeah, Thank thanks, you, Kip and Stacy. Thank you so much. And we'll continue here, coming up in less than three minutes.